We have figured out how to genetically splice monkeys together, so that way we can transfer powers from one monkey to the other. Allowing, you know, for example, tax shooters to have recursive bomb shooters, or maybe uh, boomerang monkeys to have Benjamin's abilities. Who knows? The possibilities are completely endless. Today, we're going to be trying out some of the most lethal and deadly combinations that you can achieve through this awesome mod. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to be playing in sandbox, which may this is a sandbox. So the first thing that we're going to be jumping into is the sandbox mode and the first thing we have to do is actually create this awesome tower. So the first thing that you need to make is you have to have a max tier permanent brew tower. The second thing you need to get is a wonderful top tier engineer tower and once it's maxed it'll grow up into the big and strong genetic engineer. So what you're able to do now is you can take a tower and then max it out. So for example, if we put down like Sada, right? And then we level Sada to max. Let's see what Sada can do against 1,000 ZOMGs. It's just like this giant line, right? I mean, she's getting a decent amount of pops, 10,000, uh, 20,000. Where's our boomerang monkey? Let's go and get a Moab domination. We're going to take the genetic engineer splicer. We're going to take this. We're going to absorb that, and then we're going to send another 100 or 1,000 ZOMGs, and we're going to splice on the Moab Domination onto Sada. And as you can see, Sada now actually throws the boomerangs, and all of her attacks also are just going to be... Oh, there we go. Boom! Look at that! Look at the explosions! So every single attack she has explodes. How crazy powerful is that? Boom! And then we can use this as well, so it catches everything on fire. That is absolutely insane! Holy cow! Alright, so the next combination, which is probably one of my favorites, I think, is if you take Sada, you can max Sada all the way, and then if we DNA splice Sada, so let's take Sada's abilities, and then the, the abilities get applied to the monkey ace. As you can see, the monkey ace now has all of the abilities that Sada has. So if we get rapid fire and then we get the sky shredder and then, you know, we get the centered path. So this is the sky shredder, right? And so and let's say, uh, let's send us, uh, you know, a nice whopping one. Let's do actually, well, let's do a thousand OMGs. All right. So there's a thousand OMGs. And if we use this ability on the sky shredder, the Sada ability. Look at this. Look at how crazy this is. All of these Sada abilities come out from this crazy tower. Look at it. It just shoots out all of them. And then we can also have the orb go around it as well. So now we have a Star Shredder that has all of Sada's abilities. So we can just use her thing and it just shoots out all of them all at once. Look how many pops it gets. Look at all of those pops! That's absolutely bananas! And of course, one of the things that are gonna be super amazing is let's go ahead and let's make a true sun god temple. There we go, balloon crush. All right, let's level this up to the sun temple. All right, now we wanna go one more time because we wanna get this super duper 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 powerful. And then true sun god, boom! All right, so now we're gonna splice genetically engineer and splice the true sun god temple. And so what happens now after we've genetically modified this is any tower that it gets applied on like look at this We just put this here and now these towers I'd look at this It's just a tag shooter that spawns true Sun God temples like they just look at this. What the oh my What is happening? Well look at this wait, where's the tag shooter? I Don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Holy cow. Holy cow, we're gonna crash the game. I need to find the tag shooter. Where's the tag shooter? What is happening? <laughs> All right, this next combination is probably the strongest and most lethal of all the abilities. If you get Benjamin and you genetically spice Benjamin's DNA, and then you get an ultimate awesome super maelstrom, and then if you splice the DNA and you do this, let's send, for example, 999 and let's do thousands of OMGs. Wait, look, why am I making money? Wait, what's, oh my, look at this, I'm making money. Look at this, because it has Benjamin's DNA in it. That's so funny, actually. But when you use Super Maelstrom, all of the Maelstroms actually have homing properties. Look at how strong this is. 
look at how many pops is getting so all of the projectiles just home in immediately on the balloons okay well there's so many balloons here let's get let's get rid of them there's too many let's send one bad balloon so look at this all of them just home in on it look at how powerful that is now i'll oh, granted you're not going to do a ton of damage to just one single balloon but the way that makes this so powerful is it has infinite pierce so if we have for example let's say like 100 moabs right and then we put this on and then this it look at all of that it immediately just instantly wipes out 100 moabs just like that instantly and that's pretty bonkers this combination is probably one of my personal favorites this one is really fun so obviously first things first we got to make sure we make our genetic splicer max it out and now quincy is up to bat here so if we get quincy and we max quincy out there we go quincy is now Quincy looks so cool when it's level 20 and has like that mat. Like that looks so cool. And we just lock this in place here. Let's go ahead and let's genetically spice Quincy's DNA. So we're going to steal that. And so now this has Quincy's DNA. So let's take focus firing, for example. If we use this ability, it makes him attack. Wait. Oh, he has the. So he's. I need to sell this. So he still has Quincy's ability. If we do this, look at that. It makes them shoot four times as fast. And of course, we could also use this ability. So let's go ahead and let's max this out. I don't want to max it out just yet. Let's actually, let's get the Hydra Rocket Pods. And let's do, let's do the MAD. So that's how fast the MAD shoots normally, right? So for example, if we have, let's just say like 100 Moads that are going to show up, right? So far, like balloons are going to do a pretty good job of getting through. But what if we use this ability? What if we use the Quincy ability? What happens here? So we can use this and this Quincy ability. He shoots so fast, dude. Wait, he shoots arrows. He's shooting double arrows. Wait, what the heck? That's awesome. Okay, wait. So let's change it up then. Let's change it up. Let's see. Let's see what other towers are going to be super crazy. So this now has Quincy's abilities on it, okay? This has Quincy's ability. So obviously faster shooting, even faster shooting. Let's go ahead and let's do 100 Moabs. Can this defeat 100 Moabs by itself? No, it, it cannot defeat 100 Moabs. Another 100. And right at the start, let's use Quincy's ability. Look at that. It just shoots all of Quincy's abilities. Oh, that is so cool. Does it work with things like the, the sub? So if we get like advanced intel and then we get like triple guns, right? So what would happen now? So we send one of these and then we put this on him. And then, then what would happen? Oh my gosh, all of them just home in. That is really strong. That looks so cool, actually. Can he defeat all of them? No, not all of them. But it definitely makes the armor piercing sub commander a lot stronger. If you enjoyed this genetic splicing video, hit that like button. Are there any combinations you think I might have missed? If you want to, comment down below and I might do another video on this. 